Hi guys, I'm Alex. <laughs> We are French pair. We are, there he is. We are heading to Scotland again because we love Scotland. I'm not sure how far we're going to get tonight because it's like half six. We've got, we're off to the Cairngorm, so it's about a seven hour drive. I think we're about seven. Anyway, we're going to get there about one in the morning, continue driving. So I think we're going to pull over before then. So yeah, just going to see how it goes. But the weather's looking nice for the next few, for the next week or so. Sure is. So it's going to be good. We finally arrived here like late last night. I think it was like about quarter past ten after ten. We didn't do anything to the camera then because we were just tired. We just literally went straight to bed. But look at the view we've woken up to this morning. Oh, I can get this door open. Oh my goodness me. Have you ever locked it? No. Oh, wait there, guy. Alex came to the rescue, didn't you? Well, yeah, of course he did. Open the door. Sorry, I can't open. Anyway, look at this view. No, you might as well turn the camera on. Oh, sorry. I need to turn the camera on, guys. So, somebody's birthday, isn't it? Yeah. He is the big three. -er. I know. Had a bit of disaster with these guys. Lost the straw in that one, so I only managed to pump that one up half. So, this is what we're getting. You need to pump it up and just tie it. <laughs> I blew a bit of it up before I lost the straw in the other one. Oh. And all these presents. We had to resort to tissue paper and wrapping some of them, so I ran out of wrapping paper. So, yes. And are you going to tell them what you did this holiday? You packed. The gas bottle? I did, yeah, you're right. So, you want to know the story about the gas bottle? We have three gas bottles in total. Come back from Wales, one of them was empty and one of them was full. The other one was in our shed at home. I asked him to go replace the empty one with you, the full one. You, you asked me to go replace the gas bottle? No, I, I, so what he's done is replace the full one with the full one. So guess what guys? We need to go find some gas today because we've run out. Oh. Isn't that right? How have you run out and replaced it with the full one? Well, you ran out of the empty one though, so we've only got one. We always have to carry two full ones, don't we? Anyway, he basically replaced the full one with the full one. And not the empty one with the full one. Because really we wanted two full ones, didn't we, today? Yeah. Yes, so. I'm sure that makes a lot of sense to all of you. And then we might try and find a straw or something so we can actually finish blowing that zero up. Right, he's going to work on all these presents and cards. Morning from me, so um, I've opened up my presents. Um, we're vans all packed, um, and it turns out that we're doing NC500. I had no idea. So it's a three hour drive now to the Cairngorms, and um, we're going to go to our next stop. But then tonight we're actually going up to Inverness to start NC500 tomorrow. I really can't wait. We've got the gas, and now we're heading to find the pyramid in the Cairngorms. So we're driving to a place called, is it Caffey, Caffey, is it? Craffier. Craffier, yeah. Caff Craffier. Not Craffier, Craffier. Craffier. Something like that, guys. Anyway, it's in the Cairngorms, on the east side of the Cairngorms. So we drive there, it's about three hours away. So we get there like middle of the afternoon. And yes, we're going to find this pyramid. So we just stopped off at services. We are going to grab some lunch and eat it in the van before we head. We've still got, we've got two hours still to go, so we've still got quite a way to go. But yeah, we're both hungry, so it's a food stop. There he is, our coffee, birthday boy. And now we're 
sandwiches in here. It smells nice. Crisp for sandwiches. What's the birthday boys baguette? Nice. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And I've got this plant based New York style pretzel oh. roll. Alex has got this straw from Costa. So I'm going to try and blow this balloon up with this straw. So let's see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the string to pull up. I can't get the straw out though. Oh. Done it! There we go. Happy 30th, Alex. So, we've uh, finished our lunch and um, we're going to go about two hours now. We're uh, just waiting for one more passenger who should be appearing any minute now. When she does, we'll give her a big round of applause. Balloons up, by the way. There she is. Go on then, take your seat. Take your seat even. We're uh, back on the road, about two hours to go. See all the chairlifts. We will be back here in ski season, I think. This is Glen Shee, I think. But yes. How excited. So we've uh, made it to Krathai, Krathi, Krathi, C-R-A-T-H-I-E, if I pronounced it right, I apologise. Um, and here there is um, the Prince Albert, Royal Albert, um, Prince Albert Pyramid. So we're gonna, Memorial. Memorial Pyramid, so we're going to have a look at that. So, we're just going to do a lovely circular on the Royal Grounds, passing all the cairns. Just found out you can't do that because... There's only one cairn that's open. Yeah, which is the pyramid, which is the main one we want to see. But um, Prince Andrew is here at the moment. So while some of the Royal family's here, the grounds get shut off. And I think it's at the beginning of October, they do open the grounds to the public then, because that's yeah. when the Royal family go home. So, turn right at this distillery sign. I can go up this hill. So the route is marked like that with a little pyramid sign. I presume that stays here all the time. So there's the path going off. It is well marked. Path through the woods. It's like very eerie walking through this woods. Look at it. Be like a bear is about to attack us. Is it a single? He's so dramatic. You're gonna be able to hear a pin drop. That quiet. He's so dramatic. <sighs> this is Princess Beatrice Ken. What you found? We found it! The Pyramid of Royal Albert Prince. Prince, Prince Albert. Prince Albert, yes. Prince Albert's Pyramid. Memorial. Memorial, well, so Memorial. yeah. So we'll... It almost looks like we're in Egypt. We'll get on the side and show you some views. Just there. Yes, yeah, so we're now going to try and get down because it's going to rain. Yeah. And then we've got another hour to drive, so we want to get towards Inverness. We to start the NC500 in the morning. So yeah. yes. I definitely recommend this walk. I mean, we've not got that down to the car yet. But... And don't spoil it. We will we will tell you who we will recommend it when we get back to the van. Yes. So stay tuned. 
Now we're going to go over to our roving local uh, historian, M. M. Pedley. So, that pyramid was erected by Victoria yeah. in memory of her husband, Prince Albert, after his death in 1861. So, there you go. There you go. So, let's go and ask the birthday boy how he is. What a catch up. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> You can catch me! Oh my god. There he is, running off into the distance. We'll get up to you guys later. So Alex, what's it like being 30? Well, it's great. Yeah, First thing, being 30. That's brilliant. Yeah, it's uh, everything, I, everything I imagined and more. There you go, guys. Very much what's on 30. That's what to expect. Get yourself a Prince Albert. Prince Albert. Sorry, get yourself two Prince Albert care. Memorial. Yeah. Not, don't get a print out, but unless that's what you want. <laughs> there you go, guys. With advice from the birthday boy today. And how was your birthday? Yeah, it's, it's good. So far. So far. Come on through. So, Emma. Is um, <laughs> it's Emma's chuffed because these cows have come close to the fence, so she's uh, embracing the cows behind the electric fence. So don't touch the fence, Emma. So we'll just obviously we've left the cows. Hi, the cows. Always makes me happy. Heading back now um, to the van. Um, as we'll show you, past the uh, gates to Balmoral Castle. Just behind us is the Balmoral gift shop, and then also the entrance to the gate. We're open a second ago. <laughs> Definitely. Doesn't does matter because we haven't showed you them open, but believe what she says, they were open. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's full of facts. The gates were, the gates were open. Somebody royal might have been leaving or entering the castle. Back at the van, and here's Emma with the stats. <laughs> it's three and a half miles later. It was. I didn't understand that, it was two miles to the cairn and then it was a mile and a half back. I don't know if that's good. 3.47, one hour and 50 minutes. I said Emma would give you the stats, but obviously she... Oh, I missed that bit. She can't be bothered. So, we're at the van. Half five, we've got another hour to drive. An hour now, so... We'll get some tea okay. and birthday cake. So, back in the van, on the road again. So, we're hitting the road now. And um, we're leaving the Balmore Castle and um, we're heading to Sonic's Park up ready for Route 500 tomorrow. Yeah, it's like an hour and a half away, it's in Vanessa. Let's go. Starts. Coming into Inverness and it's raining, but we can't complain, it really has been out. But look at this, we've got a lovely clean front windscreen now, so thank you, Rain. Now you can stop, Rain. So we just got to Inverness and we decided to pop to Chippy for tea because it is like nearly 8 o'clock and we're tired and not be bothered to cook. Pop to the Hilton Chippy, I think it's called. Yes. Which is right now parking spot for tonight. So we picked that up now, aren't you? Yeah. And we're going to head to our parking spot and eat it there because we're on the road. And yeah, it's been raining. But now we've got a lovely clean front screen because it's absolutely filthy. So it's kind of good that it has rained. But I'll never say them words. So we finally arrived at a camp spot, just gone out. Birthday yeah. by the balloon. And I'm finally having tea. So hungry, I'm so tired. As you can see, the bed behind me is all made. So we're going to leave you here tonight. Hello. Um, and we will uh, catch up with you tomorrow. <laughs> Emma's in the toilet. <laughs> what are you talking to me? <laughs> See you tomorrow. Tomorrow for now. Bye.